Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. All your life, you've dreamed of being a spy. As a boy, you had a portrait of the founder of Soviet military intelligence on your desk. You tried to join the KGB in ninth grade. An intelligence officer, you said, could shape the fate of thousands of people from the shadows. By all accounts, you were a ferocious child. You were small, but you never allowed anyone to humiliate or underestimate you. Those that did, paid dearly. You protected those you loved and never betrayed your friends. At the age of 33, you received your first assignment as a KGB officer in Dresden, a backwater. It wasn't what you had in mind. Your job consisted of filing tedious intelligence reports and cutting out newspaper clippings. You toiled in obscurity. You drank beer. You played ping pong. You gained 40 pounds. Your only joy in life was driving around in your car and listening to Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony. As the Soviet Union collapsed, you were the picture of impotent fury. At that moment, you could not possibly have imagined that you would soon be catapulted onto the world stage. To say that your rise to power was unlikely is an understatement. You were plucked out of nowhere. You were an unremarkable career officer with all the right qualities. Discipline, loyalty, respect. You have described yourself as a specialist in human relations. And people have always seen in you exactly what you want them to, and nothing more. Boris Yeltsin thought he was getting a gray man. The American president thought he could see into your soul. They had no idea of your ambitions. But as you put it so well yourself, one man's efforts can achieve what whole armies cannot. You restored dignity to a humiliated country. You oversaw the greatest increase in wealth and living standards in Russia's history. But you rule over a kleptocracy of obscene proportions. The state takes whatever it wants. You are one of the wealthiest men in the world. You have 15 helicopters, four yachts, 42 aircraft, and 20 residences at your disposal. Your license plate is 007. You preside over a system in which political opponents and journalists are intimidated, imprisoned, and sometimes killed. Paul Klebnikov is dead. Natalia Estimirova is dead. Alexander Litvinenko is dead. Anna Politkovskaya is dead. Nobody knows who you really are. You have more control over the image of yourself that is presented to the world than any leader in modern history. You have created your own mythology. You portray yourself as a man of action, shirtless on horseback, tranquilizing Siberian tigers, harpooning whales on the high seas, flying a jet plane or driving a Formula One race car. a caricature, a 
parody. But at heart, you are a Czechist. You live by the code of the KGB. Secrecy and control. You have been loyal to your friends. You have made them very wealthy. The Russian people love you, but they have no choice. You have infantilized them. You are not going anywhere. You could be president until 2024. This is a country that needs new ideas, but you have none to offer. Everyone here is compromised, and that is the source of your authority. It doesn't matter what you say, and it doesn't matter if they believe it. They have to listen. You have silenced the opposition. Fundamentally, you are an elected autocrat. You win elections, but you rule as a czar. You, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, are the most powerful man in the world. Woo! <laughs> 